Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to set up a brand new HP laptop in Windows 11. So we are going to try to bypass the Microsoft login when it comes to that section and delete some of those unnecessary apps. So here is the beginning of the startup. So I just turn on the laptop and you're going to get to this screen right here and you want to select the country or your region for my case i'll be selecting united states i'll be using the u.s keyboard you should you know set up according to your country and to your keyboard status do i have a second keyboard nope skip that and here i need to go ahead and connect to my wi-fi and you should connect to your Wi-Fi as well at home. So click connect, put in the password. All right, let's go ahead and click next. Once you put in the password. Okay, it says connected and secure. Click next. The windows will be checking for updates so just wait patiently at this moment Okay, please review the license agreement, click accept. You can skip by naming your device. I do not need, need to name my device at this moment, so I'm going to skip for now. Here it requires you to sign into your Microsoft account, so you have to click sign in. If you have Microsoft account, please go ahead and sign in. If you do not have one, you can create one here. For my case, I do have the Microsoft account, so I'll be signing in through this email address. Okay, and then go ahead and click next. All right, at this point here, the Microsoft account will show how many devices I have. And so far, I do have a couple of devices that's logged into this Microsoft account. As you can see that, let's click view more options. As you can see that I do have a computer that was set up back in April 26, the April 20th, the April 15, 13, March 22nd, March 22nd, so on and so forth, right? So um, in, in my case, I'll be setting up as a new device. And But for your case, if you have a Microsoft account and you some, like somewhat sync your data up in OneDrive, you can actually restore those data by selecting which laptop and which date, okay? So for me, I'll be setting up as a new device. Go ahead and click Next. And you want to, you know, use the face ID. I'm going to skip for now. I do not need that. Create a pin. Okay. All right. So go ahead and click OK for now. And then click Next. Accept. Of course, it's going to register the product with HP. Just click next for now. I'll be unchecked with all that because I do not need them. 
And I'm gonna skip for this customized experience for entertainment, gaming, school, creativity, business, family. Just skip it for now. We do not need all that. Skip it. And then decline the offer. We do not want that trial office and the storage up in a cloud. I just want a standalone computer. And here is trying to sell you the program for ten dollars a month for PC games and movies. So I'm gonna skip it for now. Decline the offer, check for more updates. It used to be as simple as, you know, sign in your computer and you're good to go. But nowadays, Microsoft off, I mean, my Windows trying to make you sign in to the office, sign into the Microsoft. So there's a lot of uh, unnecessary steps when you purchase a new computer. All right, so at this point here, we'll be just waiting for the computer to complete the setup. And once it's all completed, I will walk you through how to get out of the Microsoft account and get out from the Microsoft uh, OneDrive or the email links part. Because definitely, I do not want the computer to be synchronized up in the cloud. And I just want it to be a standalone a local based computer here and I need to sign myself out of this alright so I will show it to you uh, towards the end of the video Okay, so as you can see, we have reached to this section right here, uh, the beginning screen. The first thing you need to do is to click on settings. Under settings, I want you to go into accounts. Under accounts, click on sign in, I'm sorry, click on your info. And sign in with local account in state. So at this point, it asks you, do you want to back up your stuff? Because my computer is brand new, I have nothing to back up, so I'll be skipping this process. Click next, I'm signing out of this. And what is the password? Go ahead and type in that Microsoft account password that you created. And once that is correct, it will tell you, how do you want to name your local account here. I'm just going to name as owner for now. Do you need a password to get into your computer? If you do, put it here. If you do not, just leave it blank. And I'll be signing out and finish. So right now it's creating the local user. Okay. And this is the owner that we created. Sign in because I never put a password to that. And let's double check. So click on start, click on settings, click on account, click on info. As you can see here on the top left, it says local account administrator. Earlier, it was registered under hello ubergeeks at outlook.com, right? So info, we are using a local account, meaning that this computer right now is running locally without signing into the Microsoft. All right, so in the next step, what you want to do is click on email and accounts because they still remember my email. I'm going to click on this arrow drop down and remove that email. Okay, so far we have done two things, signing out the Microsoft account and removing the email. At this point here, you're pretty much all set and if you want you can remove OneDrive by going control panel and uninstall Microsoft OneDrive go to uninstall program 
and there should be a Microsoft OneDrive here for you to uninstall. But I'm just going to leave it as this. This is a customer computer. I don't need to uninstall. It's up to them what they want to do. Um, so at this point, we have completed setting up this brand new HP laptop. It is a standalone local user account and has no Microsoft in it. All right. Thanks for watching. And I hope this video is helpful. If you do find this video is helpful, please go ahead and smash the like button for me. I really appreciate you for doing that. And always have a nice day.